What's something your family doesn't know about you? I'm 18 and I bought my first scratch off and won $10,000. I put it in saving and parents don't know I have it. Never buy another scratch ticket dude. A month later, I lost my 10k on lottery tickets. I was molested by my autistic older sister, but I can't tell anyone because she's special and quirky. I'm planning on telling my therapist soon. I actually just told my family I was raped by my mom's brother from ages 4 to 12 on Thursday over text, told my other uncle and my siblings and confronted my rapist, and was terrified because he's a positive member of the family and every single person immediately took my side and it is relief like you wouldn't believe, I'm not ashamed and angry and embarrassed and it's something you should definitely tell your therapist and family when you're ready. I finally told my sister that her husband molested me from age 14 to 19. She didn't believe me. She asked him, he denied it, now my whole family thinks I'm crazy. No one takes me seriously, and all of them think I'm a terrible person. I faked a job offer so I can move to another city that is 3000 miles from them. This is exactly what I am planning. I suggest make sure you plan carefully and as detail as possible. My parents were very in control of everything so I had to make sure no gap in your story. Good luck with your and hope you do okay. Did it work out in the end? He's apparently still alive. That I'm a millionaire. I'm super frugal and don't show it. But every time I make a big purchase they raise an eyebrow. That's awesome dude, good for you. I probably won't be telling anyone either if I ever get there. Stealth wealth love it. When? When you get there too real. I understand Ukrainian and I know they talk about how I should have been aborted or given away. Why would they think you don't speak it? Everyone else in my family is fluent in Ukrainian but I can't read, write or communicate complex ideas in Ukrainian I don't think they understand that just because I can't do a lot of things in Ukrainian it doesn't mean that I can't do anything. I was brought to America when I was about 4 and I would go back every summer I never learned the Ukrainian alphabet but since I would go back to Ukraine every summer it became really easy to understand everything around me. One day you should say in Ukrainian that when they are old you're going to put them in the worst home you can find. This would be the ultimate middle finger. The ultimate middle finger would be if he said it in Russian. I have a massive savings account. Same man mine can hold millions. Shame it's empty though. Slaps roof of bank account this bad boy can hold so many dollaridus. I have a huge tattoo on my forearm that I've had for the last 10 years. I'm currently getting it removed with laser but I've been using long sleeves whenever I get together with the family. My family is extremely conservative annoying in the summer. OMG. This is me too. I want to get it lasered off. Summer sucks. Always have to wear long sleeves at work too. What was I thinking? They make some really good covering makeup now maybe try that? Makeup isn't going to cover this up. I'm a virgin and have never dated. I'm told I'm attractive and I go partying a lot and spend some other night at male friends houses. My parents always make comments about being responsible and safe when I'm leaving the house because they think I have a date even if I told them my male friends are just friends. Dude. I feel you. She's never been felt though. Bruh. That's all they are to her. Like a brother, men get friend zoned, women get sister zoned. This thread hurts more and more. Can we end it here please? We need to go deeper, but nobody's ever gone deep in her. Ouch, she doesn't know what that feels like bud. That I crashed a car on purpose to get out of work 3 years ago. Being bullied at work and couldn't face going back. So crashed my car, slowly, into a tree so I could have several months off while I recovered, didn't do it to hurt myself or kill myself, I have severe anxiety, and work made it a thousand times worse. Yes I know it was stupid and yes I know I could have done a million other things. But I needed a way out instantly. I didn't claim on insurance but got full sick pay for 6 months and on the day it ran out I quit. Also went to psychotherapy as I was a tad worried I would do it again in the future, for diagnosed with Asperger's and severe anxiety. This was the UK. So no health insurance, it's government tax funded. So wasn't fraud. I did feel guilty I wasted time, but not anything else. How slowly? Asking for science purposes. Or for a friend. Less than 10 miles per hour. 
The fact my cousin is half black and neither my aunt nor uncle are black. It's possible, even after several generations of all white ancestors. The most oblivious dad ever. How is that about you? He's black, and slept with his aunt. Found John Snow. Jerome Sand. My cousin Roman always wants to go bowling, and it annoys me. But I've never told him. Nico, you could have told me. I'm sorry. You made my day. Thank you. Funny, I have a cousin Nico that I always ask to go bowling with, but he's always busy. I don't think he knows how lonely I am and he's my only friend. Let's go bowling. Comrade Roman appreciates you. That's really sweet and cute. I listen to my best friend tell me the same story 7 times before I tell her I've heard it before. Sometimes we do things out of love. IDK if this is another reference but if not I'd like to inform you that this person is referencing GTA 4. Oh damn my god whooshed. I make 60% of my income from scamming scammers. Would love to know how to do this. Please elaborate. It roughly revolves around baiting them into sending you the money that they want you to cash and return them some part of it via Western Union and cash it to SAP. Oh? What's your go-to line that usually gets them to cough up the money? Hey can you send me $30,000 I'll give it right back. I found you after all these years. Where's my $30k? Where? Alright hear me out, if you send another $40,000 I can turn it into $200,000. For real? Really? Fine. But only one last time. I PM'd you my bank info my fine Nigerian prince. Go get that inheritance and kingdom which yo bad self. I have read it. No way unbelievable. Look at this guy. A redditor. I have social media I'm not supposed to have it. Good job. Ruffle. Same. Wow I thought I was the only one. I cried every night for years. I'm 21 and never had a date or any kind of romantic contact to a girl. Everybody thinks I'm a super funny and confident person but they don't know that I suffer. Well that actually changed some weeks ago. I've met a girl and had my first kiss and I'm going on a date next Saturday. Well that was a heartwarming, positive vibe of a roller coaster. Congratulations and good luck on your date. Congratulations my man. Good luck on your date. 21? I didn't lose my virginity till 25. Those are rookie numbers. I know a guy who didn't lose his virginity until his mid-twenties as well. He is now one of the biggest, ethical, womanizers I know. I think he's up to the 200s now. Not my kind of hobby but I applaud that the man found his calling. This makes me feel I still have hope, thanks. I mean, he is an extreme example. But it's definitely becoming more and more average for people to have sex for the first time in their 20s. And I should throw out that my husband was 30 years old when we started dating and I was his first actual girlfriend. Sometimes these things just take a little time. Thank you. That's actually super sweet, I wish you both the best. Nice try, mum. Try mum, nice. Mum try, nice. Try nice, mum. Nice mum try. Mum nice, try. I would upvote but it's at 69. Not anymore. I remember every single bad thing they've ever said to me. I remember every insult or dismissal of my feelings. Even if I'm pleasant and happy in the moment, every single interaction is peppered with all the terrible stuff. My dad used to say I'd understand when I become a parent. Now I'm a parent and I can't comprehend what could drive or motivate someone to even have the desire to cause harm to something so precious. The mere thought of anyone doing to my daughter what my dad did to me makes me sick to my stomach. The thought of doing those things myself is just, unthinkable. I think it's a special brand of parenting that uses fear or authoritativeness that your dad's referring to. Also it's a cycle, so it may have happened to him. And it's too painful to look back and think of the pain he endured so he accepts it as fact and perpetuates the cycle. Sorry for the long windedness, just read a whole article about emotional abuse in parenting and it's on my mind. Parents take note. We do remember all this stuff. Absolutely. I may be able to be pleasant about it now, but it still hurts. My now ex-husband forced me to have three abortions and I refused to have a fourth when I got pregnant with our son. No one knows the hell he put me through. 
Everyone thinks he was a great guy and that I was the one with the problems. He's the one that caused me to have all the problems I do. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Thanks. I'm gay. Damn. What kind? The girl kind. Nice. 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 Nicely.